Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to shop my stash once again. We're doing this weekly, so please consider subscribe if you like uh, videos like this one. Um, but also we are doing some reviews on this channel, so you might not want to miss those. Uh, just saying. Uh, so consider subscribe uh, if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's look at this products that I had in my uh, shop, my stash last week, and uh, we're going to go from there. Let's talk about the two mascaras that I had. I have them right here. This one from um, KKW. I really do enjoy this mascara, and uh, right now, actually, this is empty, so I can put this one in my empties, so this is done for it. The Lancome one, I do enjoy it. I've had been using it for a while so it's gonna go back in my collection um it needs to stay there for a little longer i have some new mascaras that i want to try so this is gonna go back into the drawer and then let's talk a little bit about the foundations i did finish both of these foundation believe it or not this one was already almost there i wasn't aware of it but yeah it was not uh squirting anything out when i was trying to do my makeup the other day so i had to push pull out a different foundation because both of these are done and i'm not wearing this foundation by itself ever so these two are empty right now. I could put them in my empties. I'm so happy about that. This one, on the other hand, um, I think it, I'm, I'm going to put it in my empties. It's not empty, but I'm not going to use it anymore. So uh, this one, I had it for my in my collection longer than it should have been um and i'm pretty sure it's expired and there's no point of keeping these i have so many others in my collection so those we are done with this one like i was saying last week this is the uh two face uh bronze peach i really love this bronzer is amazing but it is expired. It's been it's been my collection for longer than three years, and only supposed to have it for twelve months. So you can imagine that um, I'm gonna have to let this go. But it was well loved. Let me show you how much I've used it. So as you can see, it was well loved. Um, I I'm I'm okay with how much I've used it. So this one it's going to go sad, but yeah maybe i'm gonna repurchase this i don't know it's a really beautiful bronzer absolutely gorgeous of the skin it just melts on the skin and it looks so 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 natural i really love this one um the other bronzer that i had it was the one from physicians formula which i thought i'm gonna be able to finish it still not i still have a little bit left in there so i'm just gonna keep this one for this next week as well just to kind of finish it off because it's always such a good feeling when you finish a product it's amazing and uh, I do want to finish this off. So I'm going to keep this one here. Uh, the highlighter, it was nice. I did really enjoy it this week. It was fun, fine. I'm going to take it out because I do have other uh, that I want to try and play with. The blush from um, Glowish is absolutely beautiful, this one. It's such a pretty color. But I do have to say uh, it's a little bit more like summery, I would call it because it has that pinkish mauvey tone to it and uh, during the fall i like something a little bit more like how this one is and i did use this one a little bit more uh this week so i think i'm just gonna put this one back from glowish but it's absolutely beautiful the formula is really nice very very natural not powdery at all it's just really really um it's a really nice everyday blush now the powder that i had is this one from number seven and also i had this one from uh derma blend now here's the problem with the derma blend one also i don't i haven't uh filmed when i put this in uh this is the concealer that i had this week unfortunately i forgot when i was filming um uh to put a concealer but i put this one in and this is the all liner from urban decay so i combined this one with derma blend for my under eyes and 
it wasn't a good match i don't know exactly which one was it if it was the urban decay one uh i think it might be because this one is a little bit dry um but this one also dries and just cracked my under eye like crazy it was not cute it was not cute at all but i have not changed them i just kept them the way it was all week long you know and just kind of see trying it and see how it's gonna go but yeah i did not i did not like it um i don't know which one is it but i think i'm just gonna let this retire um it just it, this one doesn't doesn't look that great on my eyes either way so i'm just gonna put this one in my empties uh again because i just don't like it all right so we had this one from derma blend we're gonna put this one back in my uh drawers the same with number seven as well we're gonna do the same thing with this one from uh color pop this is the kissing a frog really do enjoy that one now for primer the same thing as the concealer i was not filming this one but i put this one from rare beauty i do like it it's a little shimmery for my liking like it has like the specks of glitter in it i think um because i would just see them randomly on my eyes or something and i haven't applied anything yet and i was like where is the shimmer coming from because i did wash my face uh but yeah it's it's luminous it's nice under a drying foundation uh but I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I do like it, but I don't like it in the same time. So, I don't know. I need to find out more about this one and try it more to tell you about it. But for now, I'm going to put it back in. Um, the two lipsticks. I love these two lipsticks. Eat away. Like the El Cinco de Mayo from uh, Huda Beauty and the Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk 2 Medium beautiful shades beautiful where there's nothing wrong to say about these absolutely love them but i'm gonna put them in my drawers because i do uh have uh, other lipsticks that i want to try this week okay so for liner i had this one from huda booty in icon beautiful stays all day gorgeous now uh i had these two for brows this one, unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. I mean, I don't have it. It's just, it's done for it. <laughs> I finished it. This is the pencil one from uh, NYX. Uh, the Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. Really did enjoy this one. Not sure if I want to go and purchase it again. I want to try some other products, so we'll see about that. But this was a really nice, uh, this was a really nice pencil to have. Um, also, I had this one in Espresso, the, uh, the Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Pen. I really like it, and I'm going to continue to use it. So this one, it is going to stay in our drawer. Um, I also had this one from Essence. I have not played with it at all this week, insanely. Um, but we're going to put it back. Um, that's okay. I did pull this one. From Blink for one day, I wanted a wing liner, so I put this one on. It's okay. It's going to go back in the drawer. And then the two other lipstick, lip products that I had was the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely adore this product. It is such a beautiful product for your lips when they need a pick-me-up, when they're super dry, or they're like, you know, not feeling great. And uh, you put this on, it's just like giving you that feeling like it's so soft and so plumping and so uh beautiful feeling on the lips i love it and this one from hibiscus is a really nice gloss from uh uh wayne goss i did put it on my uh lips a couple of times after uh after I applied lipstick, such a beautiful shade as well. It's such a universal shade and really do enjoy it. I'm, I'm going to put some pictures up so you can see um, the eye looks that I come up with. And you're going to see some pictures what I wore this as well. Now for my uh, setting spray, I had this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm going to take this out. I don't know how I 
I feel about this. Sometimes it looks really nice. Sometimes it doesn't look really nice. I just don't know how to feel about this. But for now, I'm going to take it out. The Khaki Haze and the Soul Tree uh, were the two eyeshadow palettes that I had this week in for use. Let me open them for you. And this is how they look inside. I did enjoy both of them. I played with both of them equally. Um, and I created some pretty looks, more neutral looks. I didn't want too overboard with them. I did create one day. It was like a smoky gray look. It was pretty nice using the sultry palette. I'm going to put a picture up. But yeah, they were nice. I'm going to put them back in the drawers and pick some new ones. Okay, so besides these two that I'm going to keep, uh, from last week, I do have some new products that I have not put in the drawers yet. So I'm going to put them in here right away so we can try them for this week. And I am going to start with this. This is a YSL Top Secret Instant Matte Pour Refiner. This is supposed to be a really nice uh, primer for big pores and oily skin so i really want to try and see how this it's going to look like i also have two mascaras from dior I, this is in dior show and this is in dior show plump and volume so i'm gonna be i'm really excited to try them this week i'm gonna show you the brushes how they look like at the end also i do have two lipsticks from Dior. I have this one in Satin uh, 878 Victoire and we're gonna try this one and then also I have one in 976 from Dior so we're gonna try both of this this week. Also got a Danessa Myrick uh, Color Fix Matte and I want to try this one as well. I'm super excited. I want to try that as a blush as well uh, and also as a shadow eyeshadow because you're supposed to use it for eyes, um, cheeks, and uh, lips. Also, for uh, for the blush-wise, I do have another new product. This is from Rare Beauty. And this one, it is in Love, the blush. I heard so many good things about that, and I really did want to try it. I do have two extra Dior stuff. These are two pencils. One is in uh, black, and one is in blue. I'm excited to try these two. And the last thing that I have for this week that is new is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a nice... Um, eyeshadow palette the cold the super nudes easy eye palette so i'm gonna put this in and then we're just gonna shop for the rest of the products right now okay so now let's see what foundation are we gonna go for this week i actually want to go with this one for sure from fenty beauty i want to play more with it is the ease drop in 11 i really do want to uh, see how this one looks like now and i want something a little bit more lightweight now for powders um i did play with this one you know what we're gonna put a glowish one I want to try it as a finishing setting powder and see how I feel about it. And because um, I tried it as a foundation, I didn't, I like it and I didn't like it in the same time. Um, I'm going to talk more about this probably in a future video, but I think I'm just going to put this one in. And actually for my under eyes, I want to go with Charlotte Tilbury. Let's do a Charlotte Tilbury uh charlotte's genius magic powder for under eye and face so we're gonna do that one i do have a lot of blush in there so i'm not sure if i want to go for another blush but i do need a bronzer so for bronzer actually i'm gonna go with the Too Faced this one i'm gonna go with the cocoa contour i do really enjoy this one and I feel like I need to play with more. But also, I have... Where is it? I'm trying to find it. I want to try that this week. Let me see. Where are you? Oh, it's hiding all the way in here. <laughs> this one from Soul Body. <sighs> This is such a beautiful, beautiful cream, 
cream bronzer. So I'm going to go with these, these two for bronzers. Now for a uh, primer, I don't want to add a different primer. I'm going to leave the one from uh, YSL. Just kind of try it all week and tell you exactly how I feel next week when we're going to do this um, uh, shop my stash video. But for now, I do want to add a concealer. And I think I'm just going to go with this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorites and I really do enjoy it. So I'm going to put this one and then I have some setting sprays in the back. I think I'm going to go with this one from Jura Cosmetics, um, the Mystified Hydrating Facial Mist. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Now for highlighter, I do want to go and dip into this. This is the Peppermint Frost from uh, Jeffree Star. So we're going to put this one in. And now in here in the liners, I think I'm just going to go with this one. This is a brown liner. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear liner that much this week. But I'm going to go with this one. It's the Roller Liner from Benefit. Okay, so here's how some of these things look like. This is the butter bronzer. I did put a little bit of a swatch. You can't even see it down here. Um, but also, this is from Charlotte Tilbury, the thing that is going to go under eye. It is the one right next to the... Uh, you can't see it that much either. It's the one next to the really sparkly, shimmery highlighter that is from Jeffree Star. And it's this one for the Peppermint from the peppermint uh i from the peppermint uh, palette is the one i glue gold you see how sparkly that is the next swatch it is actually this one right here deep contour from too faced and then the next one is this one from uh huda beauty as you can see it does look pretty shimmery over there the next swatch it is the bronzer from uh uh colourpop and then you see how orange that is oh my god i love this swatch i cannot wait to try this on my eyes this is the nessa myron that is insane how beautiful it looks and then next to it is the blush from uh uh rare beauty absolutely gorgeous as well i cannot wait to try these but yeah pretty much this is how uh the bronzers the blushes the powders kind of look like and then i'm gonna swatch the um lipsticks for you and then show you the two uh eyeshadow palettes that i chose for this week Here's the two swatches from Dutis, this two lipsticks from Dior. Absolutely beautiful. I did play with uh, one of them and it lasted a nine hour shift on my lips. Like honestly, I could not believe it. It's been on my lips all that time. Uh, and I did not apply a, a lot and it's so comfortable on the lips. But I am excited to try and play with them a little bit more. I also put this um, a lip balm from Dior. And this is in 001 Lip Glow. Absolutely beautiful and comfortable. And very, very nourishing on the lips, this balm. It's just such a joy to reapply and reapply. I love this. I'm so... I'm actually really addicted to this. I'm just... Ever since I got it, which been like a week ago, I'd applied so much uh, from it that I think it's kind of like halfway almost done. Uh, but I really do enjoy it. So these are the two lipsticks. This is how the brush looks on the war. The war show. Really nice brush. Love it. And this is on the the one Dior show plump and volume here are the two swatches for the foundation that i have they both look really nice i know they're very good foundations so i know i'm gonna be happy this week with the foundation um and next to them i do have the three swatches for the liners that i'm gonna have this week these are the two ones from dior and the one from um benefit the liquid eyeliner
And here are the two eyeshadow palettes that I decided to go with. I'm going to go with um, Blood Bl Blood Sugar from Jeffree Star and this nude eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I think they will complement each other and um, they look really nice. I haven't tried the one from Charlotte Tilbury yet. And the one from Jeffree Star I only played a little bit with, not that much. And I really do think... This week, I'm going to play with it. And I'm going to create some beautiful looks with it. So, pretty much, this is what we have for this week. Um, definitely going to let you know how everything went by. But I'm super excited because I have a bunch of new products to try. And I cannot wait. Let's start this week already, right? Um, I cannot wait to see you all next time. Please uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I truly appreciate you. And uh, please, let's grow this channel. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.